This is Mary's house. And this is her friend Michael's house. Each house is located at a different point on the map. To get from Mary's house to Michael's house, we have to move three points upwards and two points right. Michael's house is two points right and three points up from Mary's. If we put numbers on each line, we have two number lines. One vertical one and one horizontal. We label each of these lines with X and Y. The vertical line is Y and the horizontal line is X. They are called the Y axis and the X axis. Mary's house is where the axes cross. This place is called the origin. At the origin, X and Y are both zero. Michael's house is located where X is 2 and Y is 3. The location of a point is referred to as the coordinates of that point. And this way of addressing points is called a coordinate system. The coordinates of a point include how far along the x-axis and how high up on the y-axis it is. A point is represented by a letter and two numbers in brackets. The first is the x-coordinate and the second is the y-coordinate. Call the position of Mary's house M0. The X and Y coordinates of that point is 0 and 0. Call the position of Michael's house M1. The coordinates for M1 is 2 and 3. The X coordinate is always first and the Y coordinate is second. This is Mary's grandmother's house, which as you can see, is located on the other side of the y-axis. Just like the number line, the x and y axes also have negative values. Granny's house is located at point M2. Its coordinates are minus 4 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. As always, the x-coordinate comes first and then the y-coordinate. The closest shop to Mary is located at point M3, which has coordinates of negative 3 and negative 1. To find this point, we first have to locate each coordinate on the axes. The x-coordinate of M3 is negative 3. A negative x-coordinate means we have to move left on the x-axis. The y-coordinate of M3 is negative 1. A negative y coordinate means we have to move downwards. By locating each coordinate, we can find where they meet. The school Mary attends is located at M4, which has an x coordinate of 2 and a y coordinate of negative 3. A positive x coordinate means we move right, and a negative y coordinate means moving down. You can see that Michael, Granny, the shop and the school are each in different areas. These areas are called quadrants. Michael lives in the first quadrant. Then we move counterclockwise. Granny lives in the second quadrant. The shop is in the third quadrant. And the school is in the fourth quadrant. The X and Y axes make up a coordinate system. Like a piece of paper or anything flat, it consists of two dimensions, a height and a length. It is a two-dimensional space or plane. Any point will be written as a letter with two numbers in brackets, the first number being the x-coordinate and the second being the y-coordinate. A positive number means you go up on the y-axis or right along the x-axis. A negative, number, a negative number means you go down the y-axis or left along the x-axis. The point where both x and y is zero is called the origin, which is where Mary's house is located. A mathematician by the name of Cartesius introduced this system, so we sometimes call it a Cartesian plane.